Hello, today I'm going to be doing one of the most requested challenges that we've had on the channel. But before we get to that, of course we are playing Hearts of Iron 4, and just to let you know, we've hit the 120,000 subscriber mark, so that means that I'll be doing a live stream on Sunday as the Giddy Aunt, and I'll be doing a video as the Giddy Aunt shortly after that. So, if you'd like to recommend a video or a challenge for me to do as the Giddy Aunt, please comment below. Also, Sundays are now the day where we're doing the public Hearts of Iron 4 multiplayer games over on Twitch, and to celebrate hitting 10,000 subscribers, I'll also be giving away lots of codes, probably mainly Paradox codes, on Twitch on Sunday's live stream, starting at 7pm English time. Also, thanks to everyone who's bought a mug so far. There are, they are, they are all still available. T-shirts and mugs for the giddy aunt. So if you want to keep buying them, please, please, feel free. And I know what you're wondering. What is the one of the most requested challenges, Alex? Well, it's none of these. It is the mighty, mighty country of Albania. That's right. Today we're going to be playing as King Zog. His hat's in a kind of hipster way there, isn't it? I'm using the Road to 56. I imagine the aim is mainly to try and hold out against Italy. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, it doesn't look like we have any national spirits whatsoever. We are 100% of the house of Zogu. Oh dear. Okay, and it's just the basic focus tree. Wait, what's this? Is this a secret focus tree that we might not have been aware of before? <gasps> no, oh, no. No, it's not. Great. Right, well, I guess we'll just go down... Open the political sphere. Not really sure how to do this. I haven't I haven't actually researched how. This is just going to be one of my wing it and seize. However, I have been doing rather well on challenges at the moment. So, you know, we might, we might have a chance here. Also, we're up to... Well, okay, one factory. And our grand army consists of 9,000 troops with 30% equipment. But that division template isn't actually too terrible. The... Oh, no. Can bear all see potentially to trim. That's pretty accurate, right? So now let's sit back, relax, and not do anything for a few years. Well, our only commander is a field marshal. Not that I think we'll really need a field marshal. Oh. Okay, Bulgaria. Well, I guess, guess Bulgaria can do stuff now. And I don't really have an opportunity to conquer anyone, do I? Oh, God, this is just going to be me sitting here. Like the Luxembourg challenge. Oh, oh, oh. Begin depression recovery. Right? Okay, Germany. I'm lacking steel, but unfortunately I'm unable to really get any more steel without sacrificing my only factory to build stuff. As you can see, Albania is rich with resources. It's got free chromium and aluminium. So Zog has been hard at work recruiting some troops, and we're now up to two whole divisions. I'm sure you'll agree this is a big plus for King Zog. We now have an army consisting of 19,000. Yeah. Unfortunately, Zog's time on the throne may start to come to an end as I will need to probably go fascist in order to have any kind of manpower. Although that would stop me. That would actually stop me from probably joining the Allies. Oh gosh, I'm conflicted. I don't know what to do. Tell me, Zog, what should I do? I don't know how he manages to get his hat staying like that the whole time. And his moustache. That's a little too tufts at the end. Yeah. I only get 32 extra <laughs> recruitable population every month. That's pretty terrible. So looking around the world, we have China at war with the Zaibi San Ma, and then we also have the Spanish Civil War. Uh, it looks like uh, your nationalist Spain might just, uh, might just, might just, might just take this one. Mussolini is just increasing his industrial power at the moment. I do need to watch out for when he eventually comes down to Albanian occupation. I'm also somewhat lacking an air force and a navy. Yeah, well, I don't think we're gonna have a whole lot of luck here as Albania. Oh no. Uh, wait, when, what, um, oh dear, France has gone communist. So I feel that while some of you will be saying, Alex, switch ideology so you can actually do stuff. No, I want to try and have King Zog survive World War II, and gosh giddily darn, that's what we're going to uh, attempt at least anyway. However, according to Wikipedia, King Zog had about 600 blood feuds, so this we might even just get assassinated beforehand. However, Italy doesn't seem bothered by us at the moment. They're content to let us just survive. Just seen that Czechoslovakia has already been partly gobbled. And we now have the Scarpathian Rus. Yeah, I'm lacking a lot of resources right now. But we are getting one into Warfighter every week. And we've got 28k in the field, which is very nice indeed. Gosh, damn it, why can't there be not a non-aligned tree? Because even the, even the freaking Democrats, Democratic tree gets a ton of free manpower. Oh... I'm being punished. 
Zog is being punished. I'm constructing coastal forts though to keep those pesky Italians out. Stuff is happening. Oh, it's just the Assyrian. Okay, never mind. Oh my. Oh, Russia has declared war on the Soviet Union. They are going to get destroyed. Oh. Okay, Romania. That's... Oh dear. And you're in your own faction of the Balkan Entente. Brilliant. Brilliant, Romania. I think you've just signed a death wish. Oh yeah, if Hungary can hold on. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, the Pact of Rome has been formed. This could be problematic. So, the world is descending into absolute chaos, and I'm just sitting here, not really doing much at the moment. I don't even know that... I, I think they could still try and take me. They've done, they've done Italy first, so they, they can still go down Albanian occupation, I believe. Or maybe I'll actually survive this. Wouldn't that be nice? Looks like a lot of people are joining the comment Oh, whoa, ho, 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 ho. But China has joined the axe. Oh, it's nationalist China. Right, okay. <gasps> oh, no. How are they living on zero divisions? What? Okay, it appears that the Comintern, I think, are at war. Yes, the Comintern is now at war with the Axis. Ooh, okay, well, Hungary's gone. So the Balkan Entente is still just Romania. But no one will let me join. No one, no one likes me. Okay, well, it's all kicking off. I literally have no idea what's happening in the world right now. This is literally just me hanging out. Not, not really got much to do, except watch as the world descends into chaos. I would take advantage of this somehow. However, any democratic nation would join the Allies. And, uh, uh, what? Luxembourg is still alive. I don't understand... Uh, uh, what? So at the moment, I am really quite crippled because I can't get any resources to do anything. This is, this is quite terrible. I do, however, have a mighty army now. I think it's time to try and get Albania to expand. I don't, this is probably going to go badly though, isn't it? Uh, S Spain has turned into something very interesting. There's just blobs everywhere, but now it's the common turn. I don't, and the Axis. This is just a very, very odd game. But King Zog is soon to declare war, it seems, on the 12th of January. Uh-oh. Ten divisions. Ten divisions to try and hold. Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia join the Axis. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. What in the heck is going on up here? Well, I'm probably about to make a huge mistake, but uh, actually, no, we've got until March. We've got until March. So it appears Germany is just declaring war on the entire world. Wow. Oh, wow. They've also got... Oh. Oh. Well, the troops are trained. So I guess the time comes to see what happens when little Albania goes to war with its rather large neighbour. I'm just asking to be destroyed here, aren't I? Oh. God. Yes, I will join the Allies. Please come into the war. I joined you. I joined you for this specific reason. You bastards. Oh, at least Luxembourg wants to join in in the fun. Good. Oh, they're all in. They're all in. They're all in. Good. Good, 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 good. However, this is going very poorly. Do you know what? I actually thought that the Albanian nation might actually have a chance, but clearly I was very, very wrong. This uh, doesn't look like I'm holding very well, does it? This, this could be going better. This could be going a lot, lot better. Luckily, I have a fallback line in my mighty country. And Yugoslavia, despite somehow taking many, many casualties, are still just throwing themselves on me. Please stop throwing yourselves on me. I didn't ask for this. Oh, God. Ah, okay. Well, looks like my damage is 100%, so that, that's why my fort isn't, isn't holding very well. Well, I believe this is the biggest fail that I've had in a very long time. I shouldn't have done it. I should not have done it. Bollocks. Well, okay. Fine. 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 I didn't survive as Zog. You may all mock me now if you wish. I have no words to... You know, I, I guess this was coming really, wasn't it? Seeing as how my other challenges have been going extraordinarily well recently. But no. 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 Sorry, Zog. If you enjoyed the video, of course, leave a like. Not that it really, you know, went well at all. But hopefully I'll be back with something more competent next time. Until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day.
Many thanks to Wyatt, John, Mike, Adam, Miss Lexicon, Random the Randomer, Nicholas, Travis, Sam, and Isari Productions for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too. 